So today I'm going to try and run you guys through the whole process of making a custom Fortnite skin and all the links are going to be in the description and I should be doing it in the order that we actually go through everything. So the first thing that should be there is U model. So go ahead, install that, then open it up. Select over here and you want to find where you installed your Fortnite. So my one is over here. And when you click on this, don't bother going clicking into any of these because you might want to search through them at a later stage. But go ahead and click OK and OK. And when it asks you for the, encrypt uh, the encryption key or AES key, just go ahead and go to the second link down below. Copy that and put it in. And at the moment, it's the season six key. Then when you're in the, the U model uh window you want to click down on content and where is it characters players and you can choose male or female let's just go for male medium and you can choose heads or bodies so some of the heads uh, sorry some of the bodies are used by the same heads um so you just have to play about with that until you find the right one for the body but go ahead open that and i'm just going to go ahead and choose viking so you can really quickly double check if it's the right skin that you're looking for because some of the names they actually use in it doesn't necessarily link up well with the actual name of the skin so just go ahead and go into body and you want to choose the latest version of unreal engine and you can actually fix the sort of pinky purple outline the skin by doing control l i don't know what you do on mac to be honest but and you can see so that's the viking press o to get back to here again and you want to go down to textures so this is the actual texture for the viking and i don't have a clue what you call these ones over here most of the time i play with the s1 and by making it a sort of neon green that would actually be a reflective surface so more than likely that's a belt and that's why that's a neon green just so that it's a sort of silver color reflective color but i don't know i could be wrong anyway so we're just going to go ahead and play about with the texture so when you're on this click export that will export the raw version of that and it will be as a target file i believe and also while still selected on that go to the drop down tools and say save selected packages and that saves the u-bulk version of that which we'll need later to edit stuff out so if we go to saved and i know i've got a lot of other stuff in here but as you can see viking body d this is a u-bulk this is what we're going to be editing in the actual main fortnite files later on and if we go to by the way when you say when you actually export it it will be in u model export characters player male medium bodies and viking but if you chose something else obviously it will be in a different version or area so this is the target file we want to go ahead and open that in whatever editing software you have i just prefer to use photoshop i do pay for it as well believe it or not then you can go ahead and edit this however you want to so i'm just going to go ahead and do this just to show that it's been edited i'm not actually too sure because i've never edited viking skin before but We'll just go ahead and do something like this. Just make the... And my paintbrush is actually lagging quite a bit because I've got so many so many things open while I'm also recording at the same time. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that. Obviously, take your time with it. Don't do it the way that I've done it. Then what you're going to do is go ahead and say File. Save As. And I'll just save it into the same area. Uh, and you want to go ahead and save that as a PNG. Save that and OK. 
Then, once you've done that, as you can see, it's here nicely saved. You want to right click that, go to to to, to open with paint.net. If you don't have that, I should have the link down below as well. Then go to file, save as, and direct draw surface DDS. And leave everything as default. And that is that. So this one, if you don't know which one's the right one, just right click here, go to properties. And this one's a PNG. So we'll just get rid of that. And this one is a DDS. Then after that, you want to, and I'll actually show you guys how to do that. You want to go to the, this link, which will be the next one. Sorry, actually, there's another download that you need to do first. What you want to do is come over to here and download this. And this enables this script to work. So just go ahead and download that. So if you're having any problems with the script, but the script will actually tell you that you haven't got it downloaded. I think it's somewhere here. Yeah, it's that one to tell you that you need to download it. Just go ahead and download that, install it. Right, so you want to go ahead and save this by right-clicking, save as, and it's a little bit odd here. I don't know why we have to do this. I've just been fighting about with it, trying to figure out how to re-download it. You want to do .txt before the bat, so make sure that dot .bat is at the end. Save that, and as you can see, save as a bat file, and that's fine. You can just go ahead and oh, go ahead and rename this just leave it like that so what you want to do is run this and if this doesn't work again you didn't download the download on the nvidia website and another reason it could not work is that you don't actually have this in the file with the actual um dds file so make sure it's in the same place and go ahead and hit anything go ahead and process that do his thing and that's it then after that you want to go ahead and open up unreal editor and you can find this on the actual epic games um launcher is so if say fortnite the fortnite tabs here it's next to it i don't really fancy opening it up because i don't want to have to edit edit everything out to make sure that i don't get banned so it, sh it shouldn't be that hard anyway so what you want to do is once you've opened it just open up a blank project doesn't really matter you just want to go ahead and drag that in if this doesn't drag into here it's because you haven't run this process that's why we do that to make sure that we're able to drag that in so don't forget about that then once here you want to go save all save selected and then file cook contents for windows so it's going to go ahead and cook that and this can take a really long time depending on how fast your pc is but shouldn't take me all too long especially if you're doing multiple files at the same time and once that is done i'm going to go ahead so this saves to documents um unreal projects and this one's project two because i've created a brand new one so my project saved cooked windows no editor my project two content and here we go so that is the modded u bolt file so i'm gonna go ahead and rename that to viking modded so we can tell the difference between the two files and I better leave that up there so we don't need that anymore don't need that anymore uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that to the desktop then we're gonna go ahead and find new model saved and where is so this one let me just show you guys this one make sure it's you bulk that one is the original file then what you're going to want to do is open up HXD again. Link will be down below as well. And go ahead, open up into, you want to find this, this directory. So you want to go into games, Epic Games, 
Fortnite, sorry, you don't want to go into games. You want to go into Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game contents and packs. And before you start playing about this, I would highly recommend you copy this whole thing, whole directory and save it somewhere else. Because a lot of people, they tend to get banned because when a new update comes for Fortnite, they just go ahead and update it. And whilst it's downloading, I don't know what they do on their end, but they find out that you've been modifying your files. <coughs> and every time you use HXD, it leaves a backup file as well. If I was you, I would delete that as well because you're going to have your own backup by backing up this whole thing to somewhere else. So just go ahead and delete that. Anyways, what you want to do is now this could work on the very first pack file or it can work on the very last one. You just got to play about with it. So we're going to go ahead and open this one. Change that to deck. And we open up the original first. Change that to deck. Open up the modded one. Change that to deck. And from the original one, you want to copy your first couple of lines, come back into the pack file, press Control F, go to hex values, all, paste that in, and search all. And this can take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your PC, but I'll probably skip this anyway. And if this comes up, that means that the file that you're looking for isn't in this uh, in this pack file sorry so go ahead and open another one make sure it's the pack file not the sig change that to deck again and we're going to go control f again hex value now this should be what i put in already and search all and as you can see it actually found the text that we're looking for so right where this starts you want to go ahead and click there then come back to the original file, Control A to select all, then Control E to bring up this. And we want to go ahead and copy the length. So Control C, come back to here, Control E again, and then Control V to actually paste that back into length and click OK. So that's going to highlight everything. So if we go to the bottom, that's three of them. Uh, A's with asterisks on top of them I can't remember what they're called and as you can see that's what's here so come over to the modded one do control A control C come back here control V and when it goes red that means that you've actually edited the actual pack file we still have to save this but if you do get an error saying oh it's not an error it's um it's a notification or whatever saying that it will change the file size don't go ahead and do it because you're 100% get detected and you'll completely muck up the pack file so if it gives you some sort of i just said to someone if it does give you a notification saying that you're going to change the file size don't go ahead and do it you might have mucked up a process beforehand and let me actually so if you go into Photoshop or whatever you're using, find out how you can tell the size of your image. So I do it by dragging it out and going image size, changing this to pixels. And I can tell that's the right amount of pixels. But if it's not, then make sure that you change it using this. Or I don't know how you're going to change it, but make sure that it's the right size anyway. And yeah, after that, you just want to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it's creating a backup. And that will come up as a .bak. Um, let me actually go into my... Da -da 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 -da, Epic Games, Fortnite. Fortnite game, content, packs. So as you can see, it's created a back. I always delete the backup because I just think that maybe... They can, f they can find out you've been editing them by the dot back. So go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual texture in game. So I'll be back in a sec. And then going back into the locker, we can go ahead and find Viking. And as we can see, it's my really poorly edited version. Let me actually just take the backpack off. Yeah, 
there we go so it's my really poorly edited version again make sure you spend a lot more time than i did myself on editing your textures and hopefully don't get banned i should have probably mentioned it at the start i'll probably put some sort of disclaimer somewhere but you can get banned doing this just to make sure you take the precautions i mentioned and you should be good to go anytime you go to update fortnite make sure you uh overwrite your modded version of fortnite with the backup textures make sure you do that before you update so when the epics games launcher has update on it make sure you do it then anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did and you followed it all the way through and it worked go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know that it did work also if you need any help you can go ahead and comment down below i try to always always coming back as soon as i possibly can to help you guys and also like because it does help me out and also subscribing helps me out i'm going to be putting out a few more textures modded textures and i'm hopefully looking forward to black ops 4 and seeing if i could do some edited textures on that as well so yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one